Sweet, this week um, I did this black ceramic uh, ring with uh, an indigo flame and really nice, really comfortable. So I have got a white ceramic and this one is going to have uh, a sea green opal. Which I mean that looks does look stunning. So we're gonna inlay that into that. Stick around and we'll get it started. Sweet! So let's get started. I have my piece of paper so any waste doesn't waste because I don't like waste. So this is a ceramic white. It is really, really nice weight, really nice size. So I'm hoping, like I say, I've got the black one. You fucking get it off. That's the black one. And I've got a white one. So let's uh, get making. So like I say, this, this one, we have got a, a deep sea green opal to go on to this which is uh, that so what I'll do is get that started get that ready so look at that look at that wow well, reminds me of Wizard of Oz the Emerald City sparkly so same as glue Insert a bit at a time. So you don't need too much, just a bit at a time. Start getting it laid in. With this being a white, so what you've got to do is make sure, I mean you could put a, a, a black or anything down side of that because you do not you don't want to uh, show any white fruit ring so just like I say steady at a time well this is looking Awesome. That like incredible Ulka rings. <laughs> oh, fingers and toes everywhere. So what I'll do is get this on as a ring mandrel, then try and fill all this nicely with some CA glue so then when we sand it down not going too much into it on the lathe we have the porcelain the white uh, ceramic should I say the right white ceramic with the sea green opaline which is bit like this one which this one's the black ceramic and this is with an, an, uh, uh, an opal uh, an opal uh, indigo sorry an indigo flame opal and that's with the uh, the sea green which looks really really nice so we're gonna sand that down what we're gonna do use me sanding stick which is just a bit of sanding paper on a stick Double sided, uh, make them any grit, any size you want, just jot on them which ones. I think this is 120. Then, what we'll do is we'll go through uh, sanding pads, which is 180 up to 3000. Then, we'll take it off at lathe, see if there's any pits in it. Then, we'll give it a couple of coats with the CA glue, get it fully fingered. Then, we'll go through the process of uh, sanding again then polishing 
uh, and if any internal needs polishing we'll do all that then that should be as ring complete so we'll crack on get it sanded down and see what we get sometimes I use a bit of water uh, and a toothbrush it's a bit icy because it's a bit cold in here um, just to wash out any dust because sometimes we're sanding obviously the dust gets stuck underneath so we keep it watered so it just gets rid of minimalizes the dust so we'll crack on <laughs> and it's right there so it's uneven so what we need to do is just make it smooth as that so a bit of super glue see here glue this is me white ceramic ring with the uh, sea green opalin and we've filled it just gonna give it another I've, I've give it another top coat uh, Super glue filled ridges, then I'm going to sand it, and I think more likely this will need another go with a, a fill than a sand. So we'll uh, get started. The sanding grits I use is from a 180, I mean, on the sticks, it's a 120, so say from 120 up to a 3000. Um, and if I go in, if I need it any more I can go up to I think is it about 12,000 I think so we'll get started <laughs> So a bit of, just a bit of rag. Oh, that's a bit much, a bit much, don't need that much. And that is our spot. Hello. We're back, we've polished it up and this is a ceramic ring, white ceramic with a sea green opal inlay and this is pretty stunning, if I do so, so myself, I don't know if these pictures are coming across but this is stunning ring it's a stunning opal um, so yeah so I'll put some stills on the end of this video uh, thanks for watching um, hopefully you enjoy um, like I say uh, please comment please like please dislike if you don't like it um, Please share or please ring that bell and, and subscribe. It it helps it helps out in buying materials to, to make stuff like this. Usually it's um second hand or furniture or wood or anything like that. I use uh, reclaim stuff. So it's actually quite nice to make some brand new as well. Which I've enjoyed making these rings. So uh I'll let, like I say, I'll put some stills on end, but uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>